Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. I'm so glad that you are here learning with me today. I'm going to talk green screen captioning again, but teach you from the free account. And there are going to be a few different things here that I did not teach in Wednesday's lesson. The first thing you need to know is what size. What size should you make your captioning? Typically, your videos are going to be 1920 by 1080. This might be different if you are doing a vertical video, but for the purposes of this one, let's say 1920 by 1080. Pixel, create a new design. Next thing you need to know is about your text. Over here on the left hand side, there is a T text. Click it and you can just add your heading there. I recommend using a font that is easily readable. If you use something like this on your videos, then people may not be able to read it, especially if it's on a mobile device. I'm a huge fan of Anton and I really like to use the upper case. So here we go green screen captioning. I'm going to make it larger. Why am I making it larger? First of all, I'm making it large because it's going to make it easier to see. And secondly, I can shrink it down in editing later on. The next thing you need to take into consideration is the color that your editing program green screens out. Some editors call it green screen, some editors call it blue screen, some editors call it chroma key. The editor that I use is Shotcut and it is called chroma key. It chroma keys out a lime color. It does zero, zero, F, F, zero, zero. So investigate what color your program uses because that's going to help you save time. Bottom line, choose the right color for the background. Something else that will help you is putting something behind your words. What do I mean by that? Let me duplicate the page and I will show you the difference between the top one without something and this bottom one with something. I'm simply going to use a rectangle, but you could also use a photo back there as well. For this, I'm actually going to change it and do black for the box and white for the text. I'm going to position this in the center and group it and position that all the way in the center. While I'm here, let me show you that you could do this and use the same thing for an image. Downloading. We're going to download these two images. PNG. I'm going to do them separately, but you can do them together. You would just need to unzip the file. You might wonder why I don't use Canva for this. I use Shotcut. I know it really well. It works quickly for me and even exporting it, it goes very fast and it doesn't require an internet connection. Those are the reasons why I use it instead of the Canva video editor. Let's add some captioning. This row right here is video that I have recorded. Here is one that I did previously. In fact, it's coming up soon. Let's pretend like I need to add an overlay to it. Open file. Here we go. I will go to download and grab the first one, green screen captioning. Open. I'm going to left click and drag it down. I make sure that my timeline is on top of it so that I can see the effect happen. It is red. It is ready. I make sure 
that I have the filters tab on instead of the playlist or properties or even export and I click the plus button for add a filter. Now I have chroma key set as a favorite but if you do not then type in chroma and I like to use the advanced one and like I mentioned previously, I chose a color that it would automatically green screen out for me. If I had not done that, I would use the little eyedropper and choose the color on the screen. And at this point, if I thought this was too large or too big, I could add a size filter to it and shrink it down, move it to where I want it and bam. Now, why did I add a box? If I enlarge it really large, you can see the green artifact from the chroma key. And it actually is a little better if you use rectangle or just something behind your lettering. Here it is. I'm gonna move it down. Filter, chroma key, and here's a little bonus tip for you. Let's say that you have a lot of green screen captionings. Do all of your green screen captionings at one time. Set them all up. I can click here, copy filter. It's gonna copy the chroma key and the color and everything. And I'm just gonna take this chicken, put it right here and paste in the filter and see if it works. It did. Now, this chicken was not a great idea because you can see the green screen effect, but when you do that and you've got a bunch of different things, so then I could take this and anything that I saw the green on, I could just paste, click paste, click paste, click paste. That is a much faster way to edit. I jumped back into my Canva Pro account because I do want to show you really quickly the benefits of Canva Pro. I use this more than anything else. The transparent background. PNG, transparent background. For this one, page three and download. Now I'm gonna hop back over to this and you will see that turkey, that chicken still sitting there. Okay, open file, download. Here it is. It looks black, but when I slide it into place, there's nothing there and there is no green artifact. If you are watching this tutorial because you are a content creator, you need to check out these lessons. They will be listed in the info card in the right hand corner. Go ahead and pick one to watch right now. Thank you so much for learning Canva with me today. If you like this tutorial and want to see more like it, then don't forget to subscribe and return for the next tutorial in which I will share two new features of Canva. See you next time. Bye.